starting to feel so much like my old self again. I'm glad. I gotta go call the clinic. Well, I'll be here. Damn her. Where do I get my hands on her? Hello? What the hell were you thinking? Vicky, is that you? You damn straight it is. Hey, girlfriend, I owe you one. I don't know what you said to Maxie, but uh, it really did the trick. You shut up about Maxie. What are you doing telling people we're friends? We are friends, aren't we? Hell no! But we had an arrangement. That's it. Yeah, but I thought, uh... We were working together to give Natalie a taste of her own medicine. Yeah, which the brat deserved. And you were supposed to keep your big, fat, stupid trap shut about it. And you want Max to find out what you did? Christian, I tried to call you and he's Jen, talk. I gotta get to work. This won't take long. I'm late. Apologize. I've been making this major thing about you spending time with Natalie, and you know what? She's not just a girl, she's your friend. Yes, you're right, she's my friend, and only my friend. And one of my guy friends, Seth, he helped me to realize what a jerk I've been. So I'm sorry, I should have realized that on, on my own. We love each other too much for anybody to come between us again. So, whatever you want to do with Natalie is fine with me. Christian was so helpful. He made me feel so much better, like he always does. He's got to be right. What's been happening to me is just a bunch of coincidences. There must be some logical explanation. Just wish I knew what it was. What are you doing? Well, I managed to ease Jessica's mind about Roxanne, so I thought a little, you know, TLC might go a long way to helping my other daughter. You want me to come along? Oh, no, no. I actually think some quiet, private time is probably what Natalie and I need. You can go and, I don't know, read a book or something. I'll find you later. made it worse because I've been going through some very rough times too but I think they're over now they are well they're about to be over anyway anyway I wanted you to know that I'm really sorry that I haven't been a very good mother to you lately and I wanted to make it up to you I really want things to be good between us it's all I've ever wanted yes I know I know I also want you to know that I am always here for you no matter what so will you give me another chance Oh, I'm so glad. So I brought you your favorites, oatmeal raisin cookies, and a lovely cold glass of milk. Thank you. Nighty night, Daddy. Man, those sleeping pills from Dr. Ben's little black bag really did the trick. Hey, Vicky, no wonder you married him. He's a regular Dr. Feelgood. In more ways than one, too. Okay, he did his job. Now it's time to do mine. Ray, it's Ben again. Please call me as soon as you get this message. I need to speak to you. It's about Vicky. 
Mr. Davidson. Hey, Pete, what's up? Uh, I was trimming the shrubs and uh, found this. A book? Yeah. Well, I, I know how Mrs. Davidson likes to relax and read out here sometimes, so she must have dropped it. Yeah, uh, thanks. Thanks, Pete. Sure thing. Vicky, what the hell is going on? Ray? No, darling. No, it's me, Vicky, your wife, remember? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sorry. I, I was expecting a call from Ray. I have a question about one of my patients. Oh. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Disappoint me? You, you could never disappoint me. So what's going on? Ben, I have a confession to make. What is it you have to confess? Well, it's really more of an apology. I treated you so badly earlier and... Well, I have to admit, it, it did throw me a little. I'm so sorry. And anyway, I really want to make it up to you. What'd you have in mind? Well, what you had in mind. <laughs> I mean, you were absolutely right. About what? You know, about the fact that we haven't really made love much recently. I told you it wasn't just about that. Well, I, I know that. I know that. It, it, well, anyway, you know what I mean. So, I have arranged a perfectly fabulous romantic evening just for you and me tonight. A chance for us to really communicate um, body to body and, and soul to soul. I thought you needed time to yourself. Yes, I, I did actually say that. So, did something change? Yes, I realized that I need my husband so much more. So, we are going to lock ourselves in our bedroom and we are just going to be together all night long. How does that sound? It sounds wonderful. I think so, too. <laughs> But um, first, you have to do me um, a little tiny favor. What's that? Are you still at the clinic? Yes. Okay. Can you stay there a little while? How long is a while? Um, I don't know, maybe a couple hours? That's an odd request. Well, I, I, I need time, you know, to get everything ready. Vicki. Please. You have to stay there, okay? Promise me that you'll wait. Okay, I promise. And I promise you that you won't regret it. This is going to be a night you will never forget. Poor Natty. Turns out she got DID just like her mom. Gosh, what are the odds? And get this, one of her alters is about to off her stepfather. Uh, with a little help, of course, because that kind of thing, you really got to leave like to professionals like, like me. But don't you worry, Daddy. I'm going to take care of Benji, but you're going to get all the credit. Because no one in this stupid town is smart enough to figure out the truth. Ooh. I think it's time to plant a little evidence. Christian was so helpful. He made me feel so much better like he always does. Well, he has to be right. What's been happening to me is just a bunch of coincidences. There must be some logical explanation. <gasps> this is so cool. I can use this. What would Natty's altar say? Nothing dumb and wimpy like this. I got it. I know what the explanation is. Ben and Vicky, I hate them. I wish they were out of my life. Yes. You are a lucky girl, because you're going to get your wish. Well, half of it anyway. Okay. Let's see now. We're going to need a witness. Somebody to see Miss Natalie in action. 
from you. I need fingerprints. Okay. I really am sorry to have to do this to you kids, but it's your own fault, you know? You kept sticking your nose in my business and shooting your mouth off to Ben, and he's no dummy. Eventually, he's going to figure out that I'm, you know, not me. I'm the other person, me. And then, you know, it had been curtains for old Nicky. He's dead. It'll be curtains for Ben and the chain gang for you. Come on, Natalie, answer your phone. I need to talk to you. you answering your phone. Natalie, it's Ben. Call me as soon as you get this. We need to talk. Isn't anybody home today? Sam, it's Ben. Call me as soon as you get this, please. I need to talk to you. Thanks. Hey, Mr. Davidson. Hey, Rex. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I was just going inside to get just a glass of water. I'm sort of upset. What about Vicky? No, about Seth. They had a fight. Oh. Is something wrong with Mrs. Davidson? Uh, no, no, no. Every, everything's fine. Good. Oh, hey, Rex. Yeah. Do you remember the other day when you told me that you felt you were getting on Mrs. Davidson's nerves? Yeah. Why'd you think that? I don't know. I mean, did something happen? Did you guys get into an argument? Rex, it's, it's really important. I need to know this. And... Trust me, whatever we say between us, it'll stay between us. I walked in on her. Doing what? I don't know. She threw her purse across the room. Is that it? Well, she freaked out. Yelled at me for sneaking up on her, and then when Jess, Natalie, and Seth came in, she said she was sick. Sick? Yeah, she's got some sort of problem with stress. You know, too much stress in her life. Stress, right. I guess me be around just adds to it somehow. Well, I mean, it sounds like she wasn't blaming you. Well, thing is, then she said she wanted to talk to me alone. What did she say? To stay out of her way. And if she ever caught me spying on her again, she'd make Natalie and Jessica hate me. 